thought that our fault was the one like you. An uptown girl without a single care in the whole wide world. But I don't wanna run, run away. You can't control who you fall for. Hey. No. Lindsay, I promise to give you the best of myself. I promise to trust and respect you as a person. I promise to share with you my time, attention, joy, and everything that is mine is yours, except for what's on my plate or in my cup. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, right? You know, if you wanted fries, you should have bought your fries. <laughs> it's a free country. I knew that was going to happen. But on a less serious note, <laughs> Lindsay, before we started dating, we found ourselves in the rat. Uh, and we told each other that we wanted the next relationship we had to be our last. I said that because I hoped it'd be you. And here I am reading my thoughts to you. I am here today entirely, Lindsay, because of your love. Your love has given me confidence, respect, above all, fulfillment. It has made me who I am, and I never want to live without it. Every one of our friends here today, every one of them has come up to me at some point and says, you are never going to find another woman on earth that loves you as much as she does. Lindsay, you love me so much that other people see it. You have been head over heels for me since the day we met. It's humbling that every day knowing that I will never love you as much as you love me. I know all of this, I know exactly what I have, and I want it forever. So because of this, today my vow is simple. Lindsay, I love you, and I vow that I will never, ever screw this up. Christopher Congo Niles. To many here today, you are Niles, the fun-loving, outlandish, willing to do anything friend. To others, you're Congo. I put it with a C. Everything that Niles is, plus the great instructor, and teacher that you have become over the years. Most importantly, to me, you're Christopher, the most loving and supportive person in my life, the man who helps me clean the house and meal prep and does so much behind the scenes work that no one here ever sees. You're my Christopher. As we begin our life together today as husband and wife, I cannot promise you that I will be the perfect wife, but I promise you to do my best to be the wife that you need every day. I promise to love you unconditionally and to love you more tomorrow than I do today. I promise to support you in the pursuit of your dreams and goals, just as you have supported me in mine. I promise to be ready for whatever adventure you want to go on next, whether it's across the street or across the world. I promise to grow and change alongside you to become the power couple that we were meant to be. I promise to pray with you and for you daily, taking our needs and problems, joys and triumphs to the Lord. I look forward to a lifetime together, the good days and the bad. No matter where this life takes us, so long as I am with you, I am home. I love you beyond measure, Christopher, and I am so excited to be your wife. By the power invested in me in the state of Florida, in Universal Life Church, I pronounce you Christopher and Lindsay, husband and wife, lawfully wedded before God. Christopher, please kiss your bride.
<laughs> Go ahead and face the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, it was great honor that I officially present to you Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Niles. Good evening, everyone. I am Jonathan Niles, Chris's little brother. So, Chris and I shared a waterbed for for six years, and I was gonna make a ton of jokes about that, but I realized Lindsay's here to stay, so I cut them all out. But life is better with Christopher Niles. Lindsay knows it, his family knows it, the Black Pack knows it, the Flying Club members know it, his friends know it, and if you didn't know it before, now you've heard it. So Christopher and Lindsay, I am incredibly proud of you. I love you both. Always seek out to bring the best in one another and put the best on for each other. And you know that there's a great crowd of us sitting around this table who are made better for knowing you and supporting you to my brother and his wife. Um, so I just want to let you guys know I, I am Jenny, I'm Lindsay's little sister. I am the age of 21, uh, the age of which Lindsay started dating Chris. I'll let that sink in. <laughs> also with that, I'd like to just apologize. This, this wedding has been a long time because of me. Because uh, Chris wanted to wait till I was 21 to be able to drink and give a proper toast. <laughs> So cheers to that! <laughs> Come on now. 